Okay, this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how I cut and dye my Alphalete shorts. So, I'm doing these gray ones. See? Alphalete. And these are the biker shorts, the 7 um, inch length ones. And, yeah. So, basically, I already did these ones. These were the Aspen color and the 7, um, seven inch length. And I cut them because I just didn't like them. I didn't reach for them. I didn't wear them as often. And if you know, you know Alphalete is pretty pricey. So I felt like I need to get used to my shorts. And I would like them more if they were shorter. So I already cut these ones and did these. I like how these ones turned out. But for these, I'm going to actually dye them. And here I have the Rit Dye More um, Synthetic dye <clears throat> so hopefully this works i have two colors to mix them i'm trying to get like a light green matcha color and i don't know how that's going to take on this gray color so we'll see okay so as you can see this is the length the shorts are currently fitting me at just a bit above like my knees so we're gonna make these shorter okay so like i said i already did these um with a cut so what I did first was you want to fold them in half and then you want to take like a reference pair of shorts. I'm just going to use these because they're just right here. And what you want to do is fold them in half and then just lay it on top. Um, I'm going to switch this inside out so that it can actually match. But And then you just want to cut along the line. Maybe leave a little space because you're going to end up folding it. Okay, so there you go. I know it's kind of just like uh, cutting my Alphalete shorts, but just commit and do it and you will have a much cuter pair of shorts. Okay, so now that they're cut, I'm going to dye them before I hem them. Okay, so for the directions, this is saying to use it on the stove top. I'm not going to do that because I don't really want these to be boiling in the water. I'm just going to do it how I've previously dyed a pair of shorts before. So I'm going to just boil the water and then pour it into a separate container. And the temperature should remain hot, but just like not boiling, like over fire. So I'm just going to try it and see if that works with this. Okay, so and here I have my hot boiling water. Um, it says to add one tablespoon of dish liquid, dish soap. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be like really hot. Let's see, I'm going to take this off. Um, and I'm trying to keep it as hot as possible. So I'm going to do that really quick and then add the dye. So this was the daffodil yellow color. This is after I added some of the teal. Um, it came out a little dark, so I added more yellow. Um, what I'm going to do now is just test dye this scrap piece that um, I cut. So this is it just after a couple of stirs. Um, I mean, it's picking up the color, so that's good, but it's kind of just looking like the Aspen color I already have of the other shorts, and that was not the goal. I don't know, should I, maybe I should add more yellow, or maybe I should just abort this and make them like a teal color shorts. I think I'm gonna do that. I might add more teal in this. Okay, I'm not done yet, but good news, the gray did take, and it does change color. Bad news is that this came out, like, identical of the other pair of shorts I already own of this color, and that's not what I wanted. So, I added more teal inside of this. So, I think I'm just going to retry this and see if it gets any darker or more blue. Alright, at this point, I'm just going to throw them in and hope for the best. So, we shall see. Okay, here it goes. I'm just going to continue stirring it and wait the 30 minutes and then we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so this is how the shorts end up coming out. Um, they're a lot more green than what I was going for. Um, but I mean, I think the color is still like pretty and vibrant. So the first scrap piece, this is how this one looked compared to the shorts, how they came out. This was the second scrap piece that came off more blue toned, which I kind of wish these shorts would have picked up on like this one a little bit more. And this is how they look compared to 
these, how these came out, and compared to the scraps. So they're all different. I'm actually surprised that the Alphalete logo actually didn't stain this dark green color. Okay, the shorts have been washed and dried. And now to hem them, what you're going to do is flip them inside out. And then you're going to need some heat and bond. So for this specific fabric, I like to use a soft stretch just because this um, athletic wear is super stretchy and I feel like this one just stretches better with the fabric when you put it on, unlike the other one. So I would go with this one. Okay, it has been, uh, I was gonna say a few days, but more than a few days, it's been like a couple weeks and I haven't finished this project. Like my whole nails are like off. and So that's why we have a new towel and everything. But so just picking up from the last clip, <laughs> um you want to make a fold um make sure that your shorts are inside out and then you should also have your iron preheating i don't know if i ever mentioned that in the beginning but you need an iron and then this is just going to create the seam of the shorts and then not just have it like a rough cut edge like this okay so i folded it i tried to make it as even as i could um but then yeah i'm just taking the iron and going right across the line doing that with the iron first is just going to make it easier to where we have a crease now and um, it's just going to make applying this tape a lot easier so next i'm just going to line up the tape to the shorts and see where i need to make the cut okay after you have the tape measured you're just going to line it up with um right where you made the crease and then go ahead and iron it down with the paper side facing up. And then you just want to hold that down for about five seconds. After that, you're going to carefully peel the paper off. Make sure you do it to both sides before removing the paper though, or else it's going to be hard to iron it correctly. After you have it like that, you're just going to flip them inside out and then iron that down making sure to hold at least 20 seconds so that it can adhere to the fabric all right and that is it i went ahead and cut off like the little rolled up part um but like you definitely don't have to do that but yeah hopefully this was helpful and you guys are able to save um a few pairs of leggings or biker shorts with just cutting them shorter or to your preference and yeah that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.